Howdy there gamers, it's your boy Turkish Market Wilbur Sut here. Welcome back today, thanks to popular demand, i.e. one person. We are watching episode two of That'll Teach Them. Uh, if you're new around here, first of all, subscribe, all right? All you have to do is click some buttons and then you're subscribed. And look, you can always unsubscribe later. It's probably the best idea for you. But yeah, if you're new around here, let me just explain this show to you, all right? So for some reason, these kids, they decide to go back to school during summer. But the twist is, it's a 1950s boarding school. Old baby, so everybody there is angry and a raging homophobe. Yeah, we're watching all of episode two today, the whole thing. I'm not splitting it down into two parts because I need watch time. Yeah, let's go. Number 16. Jesus Christ, this guy's eyebrows just tried to leave his fucking face as soon as he started singing. Imagine your singing being that terrible. Even your own eyebrows try to get as far away from you as possible once you start singing. Like, bloody hell. I kind of feel bad for this guy now. Even his eyebrows are bullying him. In the 1950s, pupils took turns at reading at assembly. Genesis chapter 8, to verses, verses 6 to 22. Number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Goodness. He's speaking the language of gods. I'm, I'm really sorry. I just, I couldn't help myself. Richard may find romance at the school. I haven't been, I, I haven't been in a mixed school for like the last sort of 10 years or something. I imagine filming this fucking scene. You're just like, all right, so we need to get a clip of you walking down the street. Then we're going to get some women to look at you as they walk past you. And then we're going to put them in slow motion. It's going to be fucking epic. If this was real life, right? A real life documentation of what it's like walking past a group of women. Actually, what happens is you walk past a group of women, all right? You see them, you know they're there. So you're just like, right, shit. What the fuck do I do, all right? Well, you got two options. You either like pull out your phone and just look at it do nothing with it you know you could just walk past but even when you do do nothing you end up looking retarded all right or either you just don't look at them at all and you just look straight on head first you just you don't even notice that they're there basically if you walk past a group of girls no matter what you do you're gonna look retarded it gets him out of work at sainsbury's doing some holiday you know what i respect that you know sainsbury's are fucking scumbags i would decide to go to a 1950s boarding school any day rather than going to work with those scum i have a sainsbury's right next to my college all right and if i am like on a lunch break i have a few options all right i either go to mcdonald's and sit in a queue for like 40 minutes or you know i could go get a meal deal from sainsbury's now i've already spoken about the sainsbury's meal deals all right they are fucking scams all right the worst possible thing you can fucking buy all right they liberally scam you i mean it's only put half the fucking sandwiches the shit sandwiches it's like i want a blt in my meal deal all right not a fucking cheese and ham sandwich all right who who the fuck do you think i am sainsbury's all right then they have the audacity to charge you three pound fifty for the meal deal that's 50p more than the tesco meal deal which by the way lets you get any sandwich that you want yeah sainsbury's are scumbags could you please explain that to me so i brought these on the first day um because I thought we were going to be allowed them, and it turned out that we weren't allowed them. I fucking love how dog shit this guy's excuse is, but yet he's still so casual about it. Like, it's clear that he's making this up as he's going along, you know, he's there just like this. Well, I brought these on the first day, and uh, these were, this was before I knew you weren't allowed them, uh, but then I found out that you weren't actually allowed them, but then I unfortunately forgot I had the possessions in my basket next to my bed, so... I, I forgot to tell you, sir. Like you cannot have been oblivious to the fact that they were there. You have been eating them. So he's just basically just flat out lying to him, saying that he forgot they were there as the bag is literally open right in front of them. As he's like, you know what? I completely forgot these were there. I'm terribly sorry about that. Go to the gymnasium and look through the Bible and see if you can find anything about forgiveness bro that's his punishment he has to go read the bible all right let me let me fucking get this straight all right so he's got a full bag of kit kats some of those like crunchy caramel nuts and like a full-on massive bar of like dairy milk all right the guys found them now and then he's like okay so your punishment is to go read the fucking bible the fucker has more food next to his bed than susan boyle has in her cupboard and his punishment is to read the bible flabby kids were largely unknown in the 50s now one in five kids is overweight.
That was such a brutal cut. They're just like, right, so one in five kids nowadays are fat fucks. Then they just cut to this kid trying to run. Leave my guy alone. He's just trying to chill out. You know, just trying to enjoy life and have a nice jog. And these pricks are just like filming him. Yep, yeah, look, this is one of the one in five pieces of shit that we were talking about earlier. I'm alone, man. Jesus Christ, you fucking killed him. You feel that this letter writing is the chance for you to settle scores? and to make your displeasure felt about the regime and the routine here at King's, then you can do that, but your uh, complaint, your grievance will go straight to the top, and it may prejudice your relationship with the staff at this school. So all the kids are writing letters to their, to their beloved families now, right? And then this teacher comes out and he's like, right, listen, we read these. So if any of you say anything about us, all right, we will be fucking pissed off at you, all right? And we will come basically fucking beat you in your sleep and we will fucking hate you and despise you for the rest of your time here. So fuck you, go and write your letters. We'll have a silent meal. Warn, if you don't want to be silent, you will go in detention this evening. A little context here, right? This kid was having a nice little dinner. He's laughing a little bit, and then the teachers got pissed off and told him to shut the fuck up, all right? This is what I never understood about school, okay? At least sometimes you can't control laughing, all right? You see something funny as fuck, you can't control your laughter. But then you've got, like, some fucking receding hairline 40-year-old prick come up to you who's just like, right, listen, you can't laugh. I have to tell you to all shut the fuck up now. <laughs> Wall, get out. Like, what the fuck, man? This guy literally just turned his head a little bit and smiled, and then the teachers are like, right, that's it, get the fuck out of here. We can't be having that sort of behavior. What, you're laughing? You're showing emotions? You're having fun? Get, get the fuck out, all right? We don't do that at lunchtime, do we? Right, if you're like a teacher or something, like a grown adult, and you see a child, 13, 14, 15 year old child, having a laugh, all right, enjoying themselves, and you see that as punishable behavior, what the fuck is actually wrong with you? Like, I'm genuinely concerned, right? I remember remember once when I was in like, what, year seven or something, all of the lads in the room were laughing at the word penis. Then our RE teacher got super pissed off at us by shouting penis, penis, penis. Then the whole classroom erupted into laughter and she got pissed off at everybody. And what do you expect? We're all 12 years old. I don't talk, come here. Richard Miles is in trouble again. This time it's hair gel, deodorant and an illegal extra toothbrush. Jesus Christ, there's no way. An extra toothbrush. This motherfucker decided to bring along an extra toothbrush. I can't take it anymore. That is fucking unleavened. It's the teacher. I'd fucking dropkick that piece of shit, all right? I mean, who the fuck does he think he is bringing in an extra fucking toothbrush? Jesus Christ, the youth nowadays, my God. Claire, can you gather yourself together? I never thought there was so much fun in deportment. All right, so here the women are doing like classic 50s bullshit where they have to like try and train to become a wife or something. I have no fucking idea why they did this, right? For some reason, they said put books on your head and walk around with books on your head, all right? What the fuck is that meant to train them to become a housewife? Oh, lesson is retarded to begin with. But, like, which fucking brain link decided, right, yes, to get a perfect wife, what you need to do is put books on their head. If some guy decided to use his wife as like a fucking bookshelf, then I'm pretty sure he would get a kick in the fucking Balls. What did you just say on the way past? I didn't say anything. You're lying. No, I'm not. Yes, exactly, you are. Out. Should I said something because I walked out, but I didn't. Are you sure? Why did you say me? I did, but I'm gonna say I didn't. Guy really just got caught in 4K. Apparently he said something to this teacher and uh, he, he gets sent out and uh, he tells the cameraman that he didn't say anything and the cameraman's like, well, uh, actually, I sort of fucking heard you say something. And also, I've got a big ass fucking camera, so I've also got you on recording. And he's like, well, you see, I did actually say something, but I'm just gonna fucking lie about it. The only worry is like, also, my greatest, greatest ally in all this, like my, my hidden food. Yeah. I have a lot of respect for this kid, keeping himself sane with a, you know, a cheeky supply of jammy dodgers. If I was in a situation which is basically a violation of the UN human rights law, where it's only being fed spam fritters and watery custard, I would probably have to go the extra mile just to make sure that I could have a constant supply, some good shit, you know? We, we salute the, the, the mini Walter White of this school. Well done, he survived another episode without being caught. Gamers, thanks for coming along today, I appreciate it. Awesome, I salute you and farewell.